it's Holly with Ivy Cool Creations and today I am working on a Groundhog Day layout. So for Groundhog Day hop you get to scrap yourself and so I am doing the exact same layout as I did last year as I was working on Redefine Creatives Alphabet Soup Hop last year. What I did was I took this sunburst stencil from Redefine Creative and I used it to draw the lines for the sunburst on both pieces of paper and then all I did was number them from you know one to whatever and then I on the sheet that I did not cut I just numbered them the opposite number so that it was like one one two two three three four four five five all the way around um, so that I knew not to put my pieces on top of the numbered sections so yeah because I can't I can't do triangles to save my life I cannot make it look this pretty if I was just going willy-nilly and you know creating things <laughs> um, in the photos it is a brand new baby girl um, getting her first bath so I had to search high and low for <laughs> baby stickers to fill in this gap. I was thinking of just leaving it as the sunburst, but um, I thought, no, I'll be true to the, to the layout that I did last year and create this filled up space. And so I just went through and went through all my baby stickers and um, grabbed what I could find because I didn't really want words, I just wanted images. And so I went through and found enough to fill up this space. I figured I should matte my photo as well. I wanted it to be a little bit more colorful. And so I just went to my six by six paper and pulled these few sheets out. Um, I was gonna try using that wood grain, but it wasn't quite big enough. So I went through and found a piece that was big enough. <laughs> And it gives uh, the photo a bit of definition with that really dark line sitting on top of the brighter paper. Now the blue paper is uh, it's a graphic 45 paper and it actually says pat a cake all over it. And that's why I used the pat a cake sticker and I was like, oh, this is perfect. Yay for using stash. <laughs> and then I went through all of my... Um, other little word stickers to find things to sprinkle around the uh, around the layout. Eventually I did add some wordage but uh, it wasn't too too much and this time for this sketch I was able to <laughs> um, pull the photo down a little bit um, in the one that I did last year the photo is so tight to the top corner that I think there's less than a quarter of an inch um, around the picture in the top corner. But please check out the description box below for everyone who's playing along with the Groundhog Day hop. It's so much fun because you get to see what you created a year ago and see how far you've come and what's changed. It's fantastic.